Savage Grace is a 2007 drama film directed by Tom Kalin and written by Howard Rodman. Based on the book Savage Grace by Natalie Robbins and Steven Aronson. The story is based on the dysfunctional, allegedly incestuous relationship between Eras and socialite Barbara Daly Beckland and her son Anthony. General Viajo celebrity presents top 10 movies like Savage Grace. Number 10 the Miracle 1991 Best friends Jimmy and Rose live in a bray, tired old seaside town not far from Dublin. During summer vacation, out of boredom, they observe people and contrive intriguing stories about them and the lives that they may lead. Jimmy finds himself so absorbed by a sophisticated and alluring blonde woman who stand out so imposingly from the drab townsfolk that they decide to follow her. After a few short brief meetings, the two finally become acquainted. Renny Baker is a leading lady in a theatre company in Dublin and at first seems to return Jimmy feeling for her. But when she hastily detests from him, he becomes confused and suspicious. Is Renny is hiding something from him and will her secrets threaten to destroy Jimmy's peaceful world? Pieta 2012 Kangdo is a heartless man with no living family member whose job is to threaten debtors into repaying his clients. Loan sharks who demand a 10x return on a one month loan. To recover the interest, the data sign an insurance application for handicap and Kangdo injured them brutally so that they filed the claim. One day he received a visit from a strange middle-aged woman claiming she is his long lost mother. Over the following weeks she stubbornly follow him and he continued to do his job but he slowly moved and changed by her motherly love. One of the person cripple tries to take revenge on him but he escapes narrowly. Problem arises when he finds his mother missing and he goes to every person he crippled to find his mother. Spanking the Monkey 1994 About to stay a summer internship promising young medical student Raymond Ibelli's mother Susan breaks her leg. Housebound and immobile, his father Tom makes Raymond stay home and take care of her. Susan is a troubled woman and along with Raymond's own emotional strains, it leads them to intimate physical contact which Raymond finds uneasy. He soon meets a high school girl Tony, but his ability to handle starting a relationship with her is difficult due to the emotionally troubling recent event in his life. Spanking the Monkey was a box of his success, grossing $1.3 million on a $2 lakh dollar budget. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 91% based on reviews from 23 critics. On Metacritic, it has a score of 66% based on reviews from 15 critics. The film won the audience award at the 1994 Sundance Film Festival and the Independent Spirit Award for Best First Screenplay. Number 7. Mobius 2013 A housewife becomes enraged with jealousy over her husband's affair. Meanwhile, their son sits in the periphery observing their violent confrontations. One evening, the housewife takes a kitchen knife into their bedroom to exact revenge on the father. The father, though, is able to repel her attack and throws her out of the bedroom. The mother then goes into the son's room. All manner of puns and phrases flow from Mobius' title to its content and all are apt. This is a film that loops in on itself, comes full circle and represents an unbroken thematic journey from its predecessor Pieta for filmmaker Kim ki Duk. And yet, even as its story twists and turns in cycles of violence, the controversial effort also offers an unexpected departure of the tonal variety. 
many of the scripts machinations are familiar less so is its straight face but blackly comic mood number six the golden mask 1975 this psycho art house drama with strong religious and surrealistic element follow david and helen a rich unhappy middle-aged couple stuck in a stale loveless marriage who live with their numerous household staff in her family stylish art and nouveau sato on the outskirts of paris france one evening they invite their circle of close and attractive friends to a dinner party that's meant to culminate with ritualistic defloration of a young and willing madonna like nubile virgin mary the lavish ceremony is hosted by helen with the help of raphael the strange young messiah of this unusual love cult whose goal seemed to be to help everyone recapture their lust for life including a possibly terminally ill young female guest there david brings a young man called elaine to the party who to david's dismay quickly turns his interest towards helen's voluptuous young female friend katia number five luna 1979 recently widowed american opera diva katrina takes her teenage son joe with her on a long singing tour to italy Absorbed in her hectic work in various worthy operas around Rome, Katrina is soon shocked to discover that her troubled and lonely son has become a heroin addict. Her desperate attempt to win the youth of the drug result in an incestuous relationship, but also in a possibility to reunite Joe, maybe even herself with his real father, whose existence she has kept a secret from him. In his two-star review, the critic Roger Ebert wrote of Bertolucci, he's got a soap opera and Freudian case history and he's forcing them to copulate. In the London Review of Books, Angela Carter wrote of Jill Clayburgh's performance. Jill Clayburgh seizing by the throat the opportunity of working with a great European director, gives a brewer performance, she's like the life force in person. Number 4. Inugami 2001 Akira, a teacher, arrives in a small rural village that is far removed from Tokyo's modern-day luxuries. Seiji's family runs a paper company, the village's largest business, and he quickly forges a friendship with Akira. The women in the Bonomiya family protect the village from the Inugami, and if they fail in their duty, that can lead to bloodshed from the Inugami. Miki is a middle-aged woman who has spent her whole life in the village. Slowly, her appearance starts to change after she fails in love with Akira. Strange things start to happen after Miki regains her youthful beauty, which leads to rumors about her past and outright hostility from the townspeople. Even though Inugami deals in superstitions and has a few subtle dream sequences, the primary goal of the film is not to frighten the viewer. Throughout the film, red herrings are used to disguise the film ultimate message love. Number 3. Ma Mere 2004 Pierre, a youth, comes from his grandmother's in France to stay with his parents in the Canary Island. His father talks oddly about his lost youth and leaves abruptly for France. Mom promises to take Pierre to a nightclub. Remarking that people will think he is her lover. He prays his father dies in France and his mother wants him to empty his father's office. Pierre finds it full of pornography. His mother takes him in tow into night world without morality, a world of exploitation, ex businessism and wildness. What will Pierre make of this and what ultimately will he make of his mother? Review aggregate Rotten Tomatoes indicate Ma Mare has received mixed but largely negative reviews over time, with an average rating of 3.7 out of 10. Of the 42 reviews posted on Rotten Tomatoes, 5 are positive. The site's consensus reads, pretenses, only powers, and dull. One critic, Jonathan Romney, associates the film with New French extremity. Number 2 Time of Wickedness, 1985 
Ryoko enters into taboo relationship with her own son Fukase. He is an earnest and serious high school graduate who had fled his affluent family in Tokyo to live in a small coastal town in the far north living a humble and carefree life as clerk at a fish market at the harbor. His strange mother after months of searching finally tracks him down and tries to reconnect with him. She rents a small apartment overlooking the market and frequently visit him as he sells fish to the local merchant and town folk. As the story unfolds, we slowly learn about the dark details of their past. A couple years earlier, he had been studying for the entrance exam for the prestigious Tokyo University. However, in typical youthful rebellion, he had strayed from his studies and developing a pathetic outlook on life. His mother is devastated by his changing attitude. Mama of the Heart, 1971 this is a jolly coming of age story about a boy named Laurent, who is growing up in bourgeois surrounding in Dijon, France. This is France in the mid-1950s rather than America in the 1990s. Thus, Laurent is unharmed by events which would irreparably shatter the self-esteem of a modern American adolescent. He is smoothed by his mother, he is ignored by his father. A priest makes a pass at him, he gets rheumatoid fever, etc. There's enough scandalous behavior in this film to make 100 made for TV movies. And yet, this is a very happy and oddly innocent tale. Roger Ebert gave the film a 4 star review, comparing it favorably to The 400 Blows 1959. And right that with the incest, Marley takes the most highly charged subject matter you can imagine and mute it into simple affection. Judith Christ, writing for New York, praised the remarkable performance from Lee Mercery, Bernard Farrex, and Daniel Galen.